in. My elbows are working out. Fire it and then go right around. Here's what we got. We're gonna do our normal. We're gonna do our normal warm up. Go through. We have our circuit that we're gonna go through. That's Joey Ski. Ski, you're gonna pop us through the warm up. You're gonna throw. You're gonna take us through the warm up in a minute. Yeah. All right. He's gonna take us through the warm up. Then we're gonna go over to the wall with two red balls. Work on our quick hand stuff. Our foot drills. We're gonna throw. We're gonna do our um, daily vitamins. Our picks. Then we're gonna start our uh, our routine. So here we go. Let's get on the line. But we're going here, we're starting at this cone is where we're starting. Boom, high knees, pumping our arms. Get one, two in each. Taking off, we're dead sprinting to this cone. This cone, we're coming up. Going sideways, boom, same thing. We're getting our knees up, pumping our arms. Dead sprint, get around this cone. I'm gonna have balls out, break down, get to the ball. Break down, boom, break down all the way down. Then we're hitting the ladders. Go Ladders go up, two in each, two in each box. Boom, pump our arms, get all the way through, get down here, open up, shuffle, get our backhand, drop step, get our forehand, drop step, go all the way through, get to the last ball, go around the back. Drive those teams up. Get those knees up and push off. Rosie! If you knock over one of the seconds. We're tilting a little bit to the right. My right foot's open a little bit. We're going to go nice and slow. Nice and smooth. Then once you guys get going, go a little faster. Don't throw it straight at you. Toss it up a little bit so you have some time to read and to have time to see the ball. So just take your time and then just go as fast as you can after that. six times. Then we're gonna go lefty. Toss it, catch it. Toss it, catch it. So we're going left, we're going right hand first, then we're going left hand. Let's go, five times each. Rock it out. So I want you to think more like 11 and 7. So as we're fielding it, whether we're pushing through or we're bringing it in, my elbows are working out. Everybody do this with me. Soft elbows, soft hands. All right, so five in a row each. Toss your partner a one hop. We're going to field it out in front. 
bring the ball to center, and elbows are going to work out. That's it. Feel a little tiny bit of a, a tiny bit of a bringing in. Just one hand. One hand, left side pick, and we're going to pitch it back to our partner. Same thing, short hops. My feet are working on this line here. They always will as I'm working back towards first. But the ball's traveling on this line. So when I pick a backhand, I don't want my glove to go with my feet. I want my glove to have a little press back through the same direction that the ball's traveling. So have your finger, or your, your thumb and your pointer work back below the baseball. Don't, don't just cut across. In between your feet, we're going to pick through with two. We're going to turn forehand. Five with one hand, turn backhand, five with backhand. All right, so 15 each. But we always talk about right left timing when we field ground balls. So every time we're fielding it, we want to try to time the baseball up so we're fielding it as our left foot's hitting the ground. So to simulate it, we're going to start both feet in front of the cone. Every group's got a cone here. Both feet in front. We're going to go counterclockwise as many choppy steps as we can. Matthew's going to roll the ball to me as soon as I get behind the cone. So I'm here, choppy steps. He's going to roll it right, left, pop my feet like I'm going to throw it, toss it back to him. Okay? Choppy steps, right, left, set my feet like I'm going to first and toss it back. Go five each and switch. Okay, so we're all short stops here, and we're gonna work clockwise. All right, so I'm gonna be squared up the tray. I'm going two hands out front. Everybody, pay attention here, because we want to minimize the movement. We don't want to get up. We don't want to shuffle. We don't want to bring our hand backwards. So I'm going out here, my glove, and I'm driving from right here. Go right through. Get some tempo. Here. No hey, after we catch it, go down to the ground with it. Go down to the ground, it's a ground ball. Good, go down to the ground. Good. There it is, there it is. Good. Shake his hand afterwards. Your finger should be, should be tight and straight. Just go right to his shoulder. This ball should go anywhere but to his shoulder. Stay down, work out. Yeah. That way it's going to go boom. Straight out. First flip is just going to be palm up. So this is that ball we kind of feel right in here. We don't want to power flip it to him because you don't want to handcuff your shortstop. It's more just like a little alley-oop. Lead with my thumb, kind of palm up. Don't bring it back behind you. So I'm just feeling it, popping it up to him. All right, so we're facing the guy on the left, flipping it to the right. Palm up. Catch, drop, and go. Catch.
try to throw it uphill in the second base. So I'm going to sink into my right hip. I'm going to catch and throw it from right here. It's not even side off. I'm just tilted over my right leg, so I'm throwing it from here. Virtually over the top. Hit ball at once. Oh, and throw it uphill. That right hip, no step. flipping with your glove is we got to aim low. The fingers are going to lift. Like if I try to hit Trey in the chest, I'm going to pop it up like that. If I aim low and try to hit him in his knees, it's going to hit him in the chest. So just aim low, be stiff with it, and then you're going to follow your flip to the left. Good. Get comfortable with it. the baseball on that side of the bag. All right, a lot of guys will get to the bag late, they'll catch it back here, and then try to get out of the way of the runner. Easiest way to get out of the way of the runner is to get your right foot to the base early, so we catch it here. Right now, I'm already clear of the runner, I just gotta pop my feet. So as long as I catch it on this side of the base, pop my feet, I'm getting out, I'm getting out of the way. But if we're late and we catch it back here, now I'm stuck, and I gotta try to be an athlete and figure out how to get out of the way. So the first drill we're gonna do, Jay, you can demonstrate. We're gonna go one at a time. I'm just gonna hold the ball right here. All right, so you gotta go right foot to the base, take the ball out of my hand, fire it, and then go right around. Next up, good. Step through, come get it. Good, come get it. Good, good, come get it. Good, good, good. From second, we're going left foot to the base always. Left foot to the base, right foot wherever the ball goes. All right, so if Jay's my shortstop and he flips it right at me here, my goal is to always transfer it between my shoulders. So if he flips it right at me, I'm just gonna pivot and throw it from right here. If he throws it on this side of the bag, I'm going through and I'm throwing it from here. But the goal is always left foot, or left foot to the bag, right foot to the ball so we don't do this. Because that takes too long. So always make that transfer right here. Never catch it with one hand. It's always two hands. It's either going to be a pivot back, staying athletic, or it's going to be straight through and I'm throwing it from here. 
Left foot on. Good. Left foot on. Good. Good. But it's hard to make this throw in the game. Set your feet. So we're here. I'm throwing and following my throw. All right? Timing is this. It's not. Right to have a fraction of a second, but it matters. I gotta be ready to throw off my right foot. And I'm ready to go. As soon as I go, my right foot's hit the ground and I'm fine.